Welcome back to another crypto video. Hello ladies and gentlemen, thanks for jumping back into another Jacob Crypto Burry video. If you're new here, do subscribe to the channel. Do jump into the Discord as well. We are talking about different projects and charting. And yeah, I hope you're here for another good time because we just looked at Cardano, which exponentially hit the price target exactly if you watched my video just from yesterday. Um, and it was through that symmetrical triangle. And if you have been kept up, you can see that I'm just seeing this as a wave game. Looks like here, we every time we see distribution, distribution, we have a supply zone, supply zone. So what happens next? Do we come up to these three plus dollar levels? Do we capitulate? Do we form a, a head and shoulders pattern? You know, something uh, I'm also anticipating. Or do we actually just, you know, pretty much moon and follow through to three plus dollars during a massive alt season in January? So we identified that yesterday we did have a really juicy opportunity. You can see that Cardano was just trading here along this reaccumulation or this undervaluation reaccumulation zone, which we identified from looking at all the support zones from between February and July, and it proved to be very good. So if you picked any ADA up at 122, you didn't fall for the bear trap, and you know, you're know you already up like a good 30 odd percent, so that's fantastic to see there, 32%. And um, we can see Cardano is now rank six, trading at 158 with a 50.5 billion market cap, and it's looking fantastic. 30 days we're up 2.5%, seven days we are up to sell at 26.4%. So it's looking really nice. And if we hop in, <coughs> sorry, if we hop into that for our chart, you can see we are getting a bit of a bearish divergence. When you're looking at the RSI, in contrast to the price, you can see we're producing a lower high on the RSI with a higher high on the price, but it's not effectively a really bad thing. It's not something I'm worrying about, but the most important thing is we broke out from the symmetrical triangle and we are now trading again at 158, which looks fantastic to see. A lot of resistance around this area here. And in order to see continuation, I wouldn't be surprised if we come down just a little bit, maybe correct or shall I say, just capitulate back down to maybe the 151 level. And then we hold there and we see a bit more upside potential. I think once we break through the 177, which would be a new resistance, it's going to be absolute clear skies from there. And we should be back into the other accumulation range from the previous swing high, which was the 0.618 and 0.5 Fibonacci um, on the retracement. So we did come down a lot further than we expected. We come all the way below 0 0.786 from the swing high, swing low. Um, and if we have a look historically at what happened before with Cardano, when we had this accumulation phase, you can see that we got a massive swing, big impulse of 166%. If we were to imitate something similar, even just 166%, it would bring us to around the same all time high. And I think it's important that we do have a chance to test that resistance. Um, if you look at the difference between each peak here, it's 20%. So if we did the same thing as well, you know, it's, you're looking at around a $3.62 price target. Now I don't know what the technicals will tell us. If we have a look here, a $4.38 on the, the golden fib level, but on the 1272, which I think is a bit more pragmatic to look at first off would be the $3.70 mark, um, which is also the prior support level that we fell out on this big giant falling, uh, sorry, rising wedge. So I wouldn't be surprised if we did actually come and retest this at some point. Maybe we're gonna get some catapult, some super moon, moon boy activity, but you know, it all depends on what the rest of the market is doing. I think we are due a very strong January, a very strong start to 2022, and I think Every fearful scenario in crypto is a perfect opportunity within a bull market because every time so far when the fear and greed index is under 20, you simply buy some, not all of it, DCA, because you don't know if you, you know, you can't catch a falling knife, but so far it's been very, very good to see. Um, so I picked up a bit of synthetics the other day and I'll show you why. And I'm sure you can agree with me. Looking at the 20th of December was around, around when I bought a little bit of synth. And just look, every time it's oversold on the RSI, it's completely bottomed out. Now I don't plan to hold until it's back to 11. I plan to sell quite soon. 
take my profit and get out. But I identified this as a key buying zone because that's the most fearful, fearful scenario when most retailers will be shitting themselves and selling. So that's one thing I identified. But you know, Cardano, really, really big things. I think it's going to hold top 10, $3.70 on the way. No more capitulation. And I think that was an undervaluation, reaccumulation range. Um, if you just use February to July as some very, very solid key data, which supports the fact that this is a very, very key level to be buying Cardano. Um, so yeah, up 35%, looking really strong. I think we hold this level, maybe come down to 150 again, and then we see movement back into this accumulation range at 194. If we do lose support, then we come back down to 120 and retest this area once again. But I think it's very unlikely because if we lose support there and you're talking under $1 Cardano, which is not realistic within this bull market. So yeah, if you like the content, do subscribe to the channel, hop into the Discord. You can see that in the description, completely free. So no worries there. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye for now.